So today's day five, the final day of call. I have about 23 hours left to my shift. Still never know what's gonna come. You're never really done until you're done, but I'm feeling good. Yeah, I got some Timbits and coffee for the nurses to say thanks for a great week. They're not gonna like this through the drive-thru. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, yourself? Good. Could I get um, two things? One is one of those like boxes of coffee and then a 50 pack of Timbits. And a 50 pack for sure, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, here's your 50 pack. Thank you. And here you go. Thank you so much, you're the best. Have a nice day. Too. Okay, we got it. Big old jug of coffee. See, my mom was a nurse, so I, I feel that I know nurses. Like, I feel like I understand them. I also have so many friends that are nurses. And one thing that I know about nurses, 99% of nurses love coffee. We have that in common. Okay, let's go bring this to the hospital. All right, so that's done. Dropped off the coffee Timbits. I think they like it. You know, nurses are always tough to read, but my mom used to love her Timmies, and so I'm expecting that these guys probably do too. Anyways, it's the gesture I think that counts. So yeah, today's day five, feeling good. Got a better sleep last night. Still some interruptions. We have a patient holding overnight. Nothing crazy. I did not have to come back in, which is good. It's always nice when you can deal with things over the phone. Preserve yourself a bit for the big emergencies if they come. And so, yeah, today's day five. It's the last day, so let's, uh, let's hit it up. So I wanted to just take a quick second and just say thank you to everyone for watching this little five-day series about what it's like to be on call for 120 hours. At the moment, I have about 21 hours remaining. Pretty cool. It's been a good week. It seems to so far have been front loaded so the first day was the busiest day and then it's kind of been decreasing in busyness since then it's not over yet obviously today could be anything really so hard to say I didn't really go into this with any expectations generally speaking when you're on call for you know five days straight it's really tough to plan anything other than work and really there's not a lot of action here I'm going back and forth between the hospital and this little apartment that I'm staying at so I can't really leave the community. I can't go find a pool. I can't go on money adventures. I have to pretty pretty much stay within earshot of the hospital. And it's not a huge hospital. I can't even get up to much shenanigans within the walls of the hospital. So, and then of course, patient confidentiality, all of these really important things prevent me from really bringing this camera anywhere other than the couple spots that I've been. So there's not a ton, but I've been able to share some reflections and just kind of a couple interesting tidbits, share a few moments, and I guess that's fine. So overall, I think it was relatively successful. I'm not overall happy with the organization of the videos or you know the videography or some of the content, frankly, but there's not really much I can do. I'm daily vlogging and this is a part of my life and so I have to share that a little bit too. So thanks for coming along for the ride. It's been super fun. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we get up to for this next 21 hours. I've eaten like four bananas today. I love bananas. Okay, it is nearly 3 p.m. on day five. Feeling good, having a good day. Getting a ton of good stuff done, seeing a ton of patients. But it's lunchtime, gotta go get a bite to eat. Late lunch because, you know, things come up. Anyways, what I thought I'd talk about today, briefly at least, is why do I locum? So what is the reason why I choose to do locum medicine? Particularly locum ER medicine. So let's talk about it. So number one, flexibility of schedule. If I wanna work, I book work. A week in this community, a week in that community, two weeks in this community. I'm able to just set it up, book it. You can know your schedule far out in advance and you can plan around any activities in your personal life that you have going on. Number two, novelty is the spice of life. What I mean by that is you get to travel between different communities, meet new people, have different experiences and get a sense of what different hospitals and different clinics are like. So that's that. Number three, when your work is done, your work is done. So you kind of come in, you fill a role for a, a week week, two weeks, something like that, helping out in the ER, working in the clinic, looking after inpatients, etc. When your week is done, it's done. You get kind of a built-in barrier between your home life, personal life, and your work life. Four, you get to decide what kind of work you want to do. If you prefer ER, you can set it up all the time. If you want to do hospitalist work, you can set that up too. If you just want to do clinic, you can do that. It's literally whatever you want to do. You can just do it, so it's the best. 
five. Hospitals, communities are often in need, so they're often struggling to try to get doctors who are able to cover certain ER shifts, certain pockets of time, and so you're able to fill that gap, fill that need, and be helpful in, in a community by welcoming there. So it's kind of fun that way. It's kind of like being a supply teacher, but as a doctor, maybe. I think that's what supply teachers do. So that's really it. That's why I locum. Flexibility of schedule. I can work in a lot of different environments. I can do the type of medicine that I want, and I can be of help to the communities that need doctors. It's kind of great that way. So filling a role and also finding a solution that works for me and my lifestyle. So that part is great. A lot of doctors start out locuming. Um, some doctors just locum forever. Some do oh, getting a call. Hello? Brilliant, okay. All right, I'll come in and, and reassess the, those two. Okay, back to work. But anyways, you get the picture. It's flexibility in personal life, but also filling a need professionally. Different communities need doctors for ER coverages. There are a number of communities whose ERs are only open because of locums. It's helpful to, to be able to do that. Yeah, it seems to work for me. Um, I've tried other things. Um, I plan to, for the foreseeable future, continue to do this. All right, time to get back to work. So I still got like 16 hours left. You know what, I'm feeling pretty good. Sometimes by the time I hit day five, I'm like a little wired and a little shell shocky. Like anytime my phone rings, I'm like, oh my God, what is that? But I actually feel pretty good today. Okay, guys, I forgot my pass card at home. So I need someone to let me in. I'm like circling the hospital trying to get back in. Locked out. Okay, here we go, let's try this. Oh, well, they let me in, that's a good sign. All right, so I am now less than 12 hours until call is complete, about 11 hours, okay? So I need to start thinking about when I hit the road. If only, if only all my stuff was packed and right there, that's better. All set, time to load the car. So that's it guys, I'm gonna leave it there for this five day, 120 hours on call series. I have about 10 and a bit hours left. We're not completely through it, but I gotta leave it for today. Never know what's gonna happen overnight, so I've gotta kind of ready myself for that. I'm all packed up, cars all loaded up, ready to hit the road first thing, and uh, yeah, that's a wrap on this. Just wanna say again, thank you to everyone for, for watching, being patient through what has been five days of not really doing much other than working. I did do a ride tonight. I just did it by myself. Didn't uh, didn't really film it. You've kind of seen what the setup looks like anyways. It's nothing new or exciting. It's all indoor stuff. So yeah, that's it for this and uh, thanks again for watching and I'm gonna leave it there. Okay.